definitely shook me to my core and made my heart sink into my stomach. One year ago today, the deadliest shooting in U.S. history, a gunman opened fire at an LGBTQ nightclub called Pulse in Orlando. The shooting injured 53, but it killed 49 people, including a 29-year-old from Hendricks County. Good evening, I'm David Barris. Thanks for joining us, I'm Bennett Haverly. Brooke is off tonight. The man's family is in Orlando today remembering the victims. 24-Hour News 8's Tim McNicholas spoke with them today. Tim, the family surrounded by support today. Yeah, that's right, Bennett. A year ago, police, medics, and horrified bystanders surrounded the Pulse nightclub. Today, the club is surrounded by people spreading love. You'll find memorials from Orlando to downtown Indianapolis. He would do anything for anybody. Daryl DJ Burt, just 29 years old. One year ago, he earned his college degree. That was my oldest son. Daryl's mom, Felicia Burt, says Daryl went out celebrating with his friends at the Pulse nightclub. One day at a time, God is getting us through it. And we're just, you know, continuing to hold God's hand and just let him lead us. Because that's the only way that we've been able to deal with it. This is my fight song. Felicia is in Orlando today, remembering Daryl and the 48 other people killed that night. Daryl worked as a financial aid officer for Kaiser University in Florida. He graduated from Plainfield High School in 2005. And they're showing us lots of love been extended to us and lots of love um, in the city period. So we have the rainbow flag. Some of that love is coming from Daryl's old state. IUPUI's LGBTQ Alliance is planning a memorial outside Taylor Hall tonight. Junior Taylor Parker is the organizer. It is more important now than ever that we fight back and we stand together and we honor these victims with action. Action is what the Burt family is seeing all around Orlando. It won't bring back Felicia's son, but she says it could save someone else's life. If we show more love and if we show more God and show more positive things, maybe we can stomp out all of this hate because all of this hate that's going on right now is really crazy and we just need to squash it. That IUPUI memorial is planned for 730 just outside Taylor Hall. It will honor all of the victims and organizers say everyone is welcome. I'm Tim McNicholas, 24 Hour News 8.